Hello everyone, this is Wasim back with another video this time installing CM13 on Redmi Note 3 and reviewing about it how it's so first of all you need to go to TWRP that is volume up and power button hold it for some time and it goes to the TWRP recovery so from there as you can see wipe the data everything because you need to install CM13 so you need to go. before doing that you need to wipe everything except the internal storage because you have to move the CM ROM into the internal storage or the USB anywhere. That's it about it. And now the installation step. So I have select I have it in internal storage. So select the storage option, internal storage, and there you can find the ROM CM13 and the open G apps. I have given links in the description below. You download that add more chips and then super so because you need to root your phone right that's it wait for about 10 minutes to install this one and 10 minutes to start the android apps totally it took around 20 minutes for me to install these all everything you can also install the mini g apps also is there i have took the stock option and remember it's a ARM64 not your just ARM so go ahead with that one as you see it's taking a long time so I have fast forwarded everything and this process is also the switching on process it took a couple of minutes not couple it took around 20 minutes more than 20 minutes it took for me So done, it's starting, everything starting, go through the starting process, everything, check up, uh, login ID, everything, blah 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 stuff. So coming to this ROM, about this ROM, it's super smooth, it's very smooth actually. After coming to from a MI ROM to again back to the stock ROM, is super smooth. And uh, now on tap, everything works good. See it's running on Android Marshmallow for Redmi Note 3 till now Android Marshmallow has not been released it's in beta stage but uh, the official one have not been released yet Xiaomi is very slow in releasing updates that's very bad about it it's good at phones but bad at updates so this ROM is super smooth as I said and works like a champ and I have used for a couple of days and I got the battery life is also awesome everything was awesome the only problem with the with this ROM is that uh, it does not support the OLED band that's uh, really disappointing because I am having the Geo SIM and I need to use my Geo SIM for voice call services everything because it's free for that sake I need to switch back to my memory ROM which supports the OLT is if you are confused what is OLT and everything I have made a separate video on it also please check that video I will keep the links in the description below check those guys you will understand what the network bands are there in this world so that's it about this one it's an how to install the process and everything I have said and it's super smooth but Sometimes it lags in between. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and share it. 
so everyone can enjoy these roms take care guys